Hello, welcome to Lucky Bucks Garage. Today we're going to do something I've never done in for a long time. Never just ever pulled the trigger on using it. Today we're going to use a mother's polish ball on an old aluminum rim. And I'm going to see how it, ha how it works. Let's try it out. All right, first thing is, is that these things are probably 45 years old, okay? So they've seen their better days, all right? Now, I have, on these, I have already been through two cleanings, one with baking soda and lemon juice, which took all the big stuff off it because these were nasty. Now, there are still some small sharp edges, nicks, cuts, little things here and there that we're gonna use a small file, or if you felt brave, you could use one of these on it. But I'm just gonna, this one has this burr here, and I'm just running my finger slowly. There's this burr here. I'm just gonna take these little nubs off because I wanna make these look really, really good. So, because they're going on the uh, old text, and I'm gonna put the mothers to it. I'm gonna see how this thing works. Okay. I'm going to do this the easy way, get you set up here. And I'm actually going to use on low speed. This is not a, this is just a, like a blending cartridge. This is not much of a oomph to it at all. And I'm just going to lightly take that edge off. Yep. We're just going to take the burrs off. Just like that. Perfect. Down here, got one here. Now that you got all the little burrs off of it, we could go. Actually, I think I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and go over this one more time with the wet dry and smooth this edge out a little bit more. And then we'll get the mothers out and we'll start polishing. So might actually do quadruple lot one more time around this edge because basically when you think about it you're not going to see most of this when you're moving everybody's going to look at this right here so this is the part that we're going to pay the most attention to so okay and all i'm going to do all i'm doing is just wetting it down so you know my normal soap and water dawn and dishwasher liquid and i'm just doing a little wet sanding on this edge, just to smooth it out a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of a smooth, just so she shines a little bit. And this is cast aluminum, so you ain't gotta worry about it, it's cast, which means the inside of it is the same color as the outside of it. It's just not polished, okay? But we're gonna fix that. Then, if you wanna give it just one more hit, We'll take the quadruple lot, which, you know, Walmart, three bucks for enough for, last you for a year. My last bag lasted me for a whole year. And then we just give it a hit. All the little nooks and crannies. Just to get that last little dirt out of there. There really isn't any surface dirt on this. All this discoloration these little black marks are just oxidation that's in the aluminum so there really isn't anything to really get off of this thing it look now i will say it looks a little dirty it's been sitting in the shop collecting dust for a couple of months but just any real road tar or dirt or anything like that there's just none of that on this so all right so we got that part done and now we gotta do this Wipe it off. All right. So, now if you really get deep down and look at this, see it's got all them little dark specks. That's just the oxidation in the aluminum itself. So I'm hoping that the mothers will take that out. Since you're here and you're watching, like, share, and subscribe, smash that button, hit the bell, check out UncleBookStuff.com. If you'd like to check out a t-shirt or a hat, 
Y'all have a good day. Okay. Now what I'm going to use, I've had this on the shelf for several months. I bought it and I've never used one of these. I, the honest truth is when I was a young man with kids, I couldn't afford this kind of stuff. So, so I bought the aluminum and mag polish and I bought the mother's Powerball. So let's see how this works. And, okay. Oh, okay. So the outside spins on the inside shaft, which has a chuck in it, which has a piece, which has a screw in the end of it like this. So basically you can, yeah, there you go. So you can hold on to it and use your drill and have a little bit, put a little pressure on it with your hand. All right, and I'll just give you a suggestion. Do it on spinning left. All right, spin left, because if you spin it right, it has a tendency to come off. All right, so we're going to go this way. All right. All right, so, and see? That's kind of cool. All right, so let's try this. Let's see what happens. We're going to go slow. Oop, black residue. All right, we'll take the same rag and we'll wipe it off. And we'll see the, see the difference here. Yeah, it's definitely shinier between from this part to this part. It's definitely shinier. It's not going to take years of shit off of it, but it actually definitely works. So... Let's rub this thing down. Let's go to town. Okay, and there's everybody has their own opinion of how to put this stuff on. And basically, I'm using this whole can for four wheels. And the, the more you put on, it seems like the better. Okay, because this is a polishing compound. All right, so I just do it. I'm sorry. And then we just slather it on where I want it. I'm going to make sure that I have a quarter of this used up for this rim. So she's going to go all around. And I try to put it like the most important spot is going to be here where all the real estate is to make it look the best. All right. And the edges. So just get it on it. Yeah. No cooth. Yeah. I'm sitting here filming, and he's working the pit bike. You know, but speaking of pit bike, guess what? Our local racetrack got sold, and we're opening this spring. So we're getting ready for the drag races. So this was the last thing. Hi. Hello. Yeah, he's, he's helpful whenever I'm filming. He's <laughs> running his little pit bike. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry about my voice. I, I don't know if you can tell, but. Sound a little sick. But he ain't sick. He's just hoarse. Because he's working on rally. He's talking shit all day long. And business. Oh, and by the way, month's time, top salesman of the store. You know? Come on. Come on. Come on. You got to be proud of that. You got to be proud of that. Anyway, so it's just just lather it. Everywhere. Just get get dirty. Get it on your fingers. Who gives a shit? Just get it all over this wheel. And that way, you know, you got good coverage. Run gloss or cream cheese on your wheels. <laughs> cream cheese. Anyways, so, but that's, there's no reason to dirty another towel just to put your stuff on. Applicator bullshit. Just get it on there. Okay, I'll just throw this up here to show you the difference between the two. And it's completely noticeable. Untouched. 
polished. Yeah. I think it works. Now, this now this is about six minutes with the buffer pad that's already turned black. We'll see if it lasts for all four wheels. But according to the directions and everything I've seen, I'm going to use that whole can quarter, 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 quarter on each one of these wheels. But it definitely made a huge difference. Now, I will say, now, to get some, if you got something that's a little bit wider, eight, tens, if you'll set it on its side, chalk it up, and then put the speed on your drill to high and give it the last final hit, it makes a huge difference when you got more real estate to show than like on the sevens. So, just a little trick because my drill has two different speed settings. Number one is slow. Number two is fast. So I've been running, busting all the crust off of it on number one. And then the last hit for the last half a minute on high speed number two, just giving it the final buff. And so far, I haven't lost very many pieces off the end of this, but it's coming. So they're kind of deleting themselves as they go. On the second wheel now, I've had a couple fly off, but all in all, I got to say, have or, never having have used one of these, it's actually working pretty good. I'll let you bring it along. Let's see how quick this turns. Ooh, look at there. Just dig, just digging all that dirt out. This round ball has a hard time getting into tight corners, like with something in the way, like these little glued on stubs. These are not bolted together. These are just from the factory. They're just glued on little nubs. As you can tell there, they just pop off over time. So it makes it difficult for it to get in the nooks and crannies. And see, all I'm using is a paint stick because that'll let me give me the space to get behind that edge and just to get the crud out. And it does a great job. Okay. You can use a screwdriver, but I mean, I'm, if you're dealing with aluminum or metal, I don't want to put a heavier, a stronger steel into the mix. I just want, see that, that wood won't scratch the aluminum where a, like a screwdriver would. See, and you can use it, dig all the stuff out of the nooks and crannies, which look, See, I mean, it's just catching stuff that you just can't catch with your finger. The last thing is for this is to put the speed to it and just give it the last hit because that ball is already full of polish. All right, so you just got to use something to chalk it because the, the speed on this is going to be pretty high, so it's going to try to push this wheel this way. So we're going to put it on. Number two, and give it the final hit. Our cloth, which is our third one we've used so far. Let's see what we got. I'm sure if you wanted to spend several more hours doing this, you can make this even better. But for me, just to get this beast on the road and to have a little fun and enjoy driving it, this is well worth it for me. And yeah, she's coming out real nice. All right. But that's just all those years of nastiness coming off. And even the new cloth is still taking more stuff off. The more you rub it, the better it gets. So if you got a couple hours to blow and you really want to get these mirrors. Now I've seen all the videos of all the guys with, you know, the, the die grinders with the big wheels on them and uh, this setup that automatically turns it and swirls it, you know, and 
yeah, those are awesome. But for just a little home job, just to get it where you're proud to put it back on your truck, even though it's 40 years old, I say this is the way to go. I mean, I'm, like I said, I am impressed with this. Um, I never had used one before, and I think I'm sold. Yep, still getting dirt. Still getting oxidation in them crevices. But, oh my goodness. Yep. Look at that. Yes, sir. I believe we're getting some tires mounted. One last thing I'll say is that the more you rub, this is a brand new one. This is the third rag rubbing on this wheel. The more you rub, the slicker it gets. I mean, okay. I got to say thumbs up. I got to say that mother's ball and that polish on a 40 plus year old set of wheels with some soap and water and some triple odd buck seal wool made these things look like brand new. I mean, they're not brand new. There's little nicks and dings in this thing, but from five feet away, just looking at going down the road, they are going to catch tension because they are just, and the more I rub, the cleaner they're getting. So I almost guarantee once I get the tires on, I take it to the car wash and I put some pressure washer to it and get the final haze of the polish off of it, it's going to be even better. I mean, pretty much you guys have got it. That's how there is to it. It's worth it. Um, I think the Powerball was $15, and I think this jug of Mother's Aluminum Polish to go with it was 9 so 25 bucks and an hour's worth of your time on a weekend. And you can make some old stuff look really, really, really good. So if you're still here, like, share, subscribe, smash that button, hit your bell. To, uh, check out UncleBuckStuff.com if you like a hat or a t-shirt. Y'all have a good day. Because a good day today could mean refurbished rims in the morning. Y'all be good.